Um, we're here at Sand Park this morning and we're in front of the seahorse tank with Francois Hubert, who is an aquarist who I believe also set up the aquarium here. Um, there, we've got exciting news which I'm going to ask Francois to share with us. What happened here, Francois? Um, correct. What actually happened uh, was that we got babies. Uh, we were quite excited about it. It was a very nice idea. Uh, in the past, we also had uh, a seals that was brought in from outside after it was standard, um, which also got babies, but that, uh, they weren't conceived in captivity. Okay. For the first time um, in, in our tanks down here, since it's been erected last year, um, we actually got babies that was bred and born in the aquarium. Um, I just came into my regular maintenance, and to my amazement, uh, we, we saw the birth of the babies. It was very exciting. How long did it take more or less? For, uh, approximately, I'd say two to three minutes, and uh, there were a lot of them uh, went swimming around. I, I obviously just rushed out to get a, a net. Um, what we've done here is we just placed the net in uh, for their detection. There's a lot of predators in the tank. Um, if you have a closer look at the tank, uh, you'll see that there's spider crabs. Um, there's also a mouse and goby that's sitting just down here. A few other organisms that's all, you know, in nature they would definitely go for any small particles of food, uh, which is also the baby seals in this case. So that's why you have to put them out of the main tank and give them a little protective nursery. That's correct, yes. And, and Francois, I believe that there's something else that's possibly on its way. There is. is. Um, if you have a close look, uh, one of our mouths here is definitely a bearing again. So within the next probably a month or so, we should have another batch of babies coming out. Okay, and you're going to actually construct a little nursery That's correct. That's correct, yeah. What we're going to do is, we. this was uh, just a, a, a quick solution, but we're going to erect a, a, a more permanent uh, nursery, uh, basically like a seahorse crash uh, for the babies. So um, as soon as we see that the, the other male is getting near to, to bearing, uh, to, to giving birth, we'll place him into the crash where he can have his young and they would be fully protected away from any harm, no other predators coming in. We'll, we'll do supply uh, a space for water to run through, you know, just sufficient current to drag in elements, um, fresh water, so that everything is still fine for the babies. That's, that's fantastic. It's exciting. So please let us know when this happens. Um, I have quite a, an important question to ask you. I believe it's not a good idea to keep Seahorses in a tank in a, in a home aquarium. Oh, yes. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. In a private capacity, um, you're not allowed to keep seahorses. Um, they are they're listed on the red dots on a species list. Okay. Um, so they're very endangered. The reason for this is uh, the northern seahorse only occurs from uh, a few points of river up until um, Sedgefields in the Swat Flow. Okay. So they've got a, a very a small confined area where they occur. They are found nowhere else in the world. So uh, any significant change in the environment like an oil spill, significant oil spill could affect uh, these species. Now also the reason why we're not allowed to take them is if everyone, anyone is allowed to go and take out the seahorse, we don't know what's going to happen with the population. So it's just for the protection of the young and the future generation. And the population that's already diminished? There is uh, definitely uh, some Factors. I mean, if you look at the development in Marsna during the past few years, um, they, a, a lot of influence has caused some diminishment. Okay, so then um, why the tank here? Um, because you not encouraging it in a private capacity? What is the reason for the tank? Well, first of all, Marsna is a tourist attraction. So, uh, people that they accept when they come to Marsna, there's a lot of things to see. Um, now, we also like to encourage our tourists to come and see the seahorses. It's very convenient to come to the tank and have a look at them. You don't need to go out and dive. I'm looking at it, it's very good and nice to go out diving. But some people aren't, you know, they, they haven't done the, the, the diving certificate and uh, yeah, they wouldn't be able to go out to see them. So, coming all the way from England or wherever, not to be able to see the seahorses. Yeah. And then secondarily, we also have it as an educational tool. Okay. Um, I mean, you can kind of study the seahorses close up and being in a, a natural environment. Mm -hmm. um, we, we try to 
keep it as close to natural as possible yeah. by not intervening too much. And, yeah. Okay, no, that's that's fantastic. But now I was just wondering before we end this off quickly, um, other facts about seahorses. I mean, first of all, it's the male seahorse that has the babies. Can you give us a few little facts and, and other things that we can take home with us so that we can be better educated on the seahorse? Sure. Well, in regard to the, the birth of the babies, yes, it is the male that bears the young. Um, they actually have a pouch. The male has got a small pouch. So the, the female still lays the eggs, but they deposit it in the male's pouch, where he then has them. And as the young develop, they they are in a safe haven, basically. And as soon as they're ready to go, we will release them. And they will come back. Well, thank you so much. Um, as mentioned before, um, well, two things. One is that we could witness um, another batch of baby seahorses being born very soon, and we will bring this to you if it does happen. And uh, secondly, uh, Francois is um, a very experienced aquarist, so if, if we haven't covered any of the questions that you have, or you have any other questions about aquariums and um, basically anything to do fish with ponds, fish yes, ponds, um, we will we'll leave uh, Francois' details for you to contact him directly. So thank you again so much for this opportunity to see something and learn something so exciting. It's a pleasure. Have a good day. You too.